Hello everyone. In this video, we will present our work on the design of developable and rigidly foldable origami surfaces with arbitrary Gaussian curvatures. The work was performed by Sri Chandana and Kishore at IIT Madras under the guidance of Dr. Pradeep. We are interested in creating foldable surfaces that could have applications in architecture and as deployable structures. For example, one could aim for a target surface that looks like a saddle shape shown here. The objective is to design an origami structure that conforms to this target surface at some folded state. Previous works have employed optimization based approaches using an under constrained system of equations. However, such a framework makes it impossible to impose hard constraints on the system that make it overdetermined. For example, we may require some of the vertices of the origami to be restrained on the target surface. In our work, we propose an alternative procedure of directly solving the overdetermined system of equations using a least squares based approach. We aim to create the curved origami surfaces by generalizing the structure of a Mura origami pattern shown here. The standard Mura pattern is made of parallelogram shaped panels. The top vertices conform to an imaginary planar surface on the top. Similarly, the bottom vertices lie on an imaginary bottom surface. The two surfaces are parallel to each other and are offset by a distance or thickness d which depends on the folded state of a structure. The folded Mura structure is obtained by folding a crease pattern shown on the right. The folding is dictated by the creases which are specified either as mountain or as valley folds. The entire geometry of the system can be studied from a single repetitive structure called the unit cell. Since the Mura tessellation is a single degree of freedom deployable structure, the folding angle indicated by the variable gamma here uniquely defines the folded state of the entire structure. We want to obtain the origami surfaces by perturbing the vertices in the crease pattern of the standard Mura pattern. While we do that, we want to impose certain geometric constraints to ensure the desired functionality. These constraints are discussed here. The first one is called developability. We want the structure to be foldable from a flat sheet. Each vertex is surrounded by four panels and therefore four panel angles denoted by alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3 and alpha 4. So developability corresponds to the constraint on the sum of all the panel angles around a vertex to be 2 pi. The second constraint is the planarity or rigidity of facets. We assume the quadrilateral panels to be rigid and therefore not to deform. Hence the volume enclosed by the vectors A, B and C should be equal to 0. Third set of constraints are related to local flat foldability. The equation for this can be written using Kawasaki Justin theorem as follows. So we have the constraint equations based on developability, rigidity and flat foldability. The design variables that are to be solved from these equations are the xyz coordinates of the bottom vertices, the xy coordinates of the top vertices and the thickness variable d. Note that the z coordinates of the top vertices are constrained to be on the target surface and therefore are not free variables. The initial guess for the solution procedure is obtained by projecting the standard Mura patterns vertices onto the target surface and an offset surface as shown here. In addition to this setup, we also impose certain tolerance bounds on the perturbations of the free variables. For example, xy coordinates of the top vertices are allowed to move within a square region of side 2txy. The z coordinates of the bottom vertices are allowed to move within a tolerance of 2tz about the offset surface. The offset surface location itself which is defined by the thickness variable d is allowed to vary by 2td from the initial guess position. Overall, the variability of the system as it tries to satisfy the constraint equations is depicted through this schematic animation. We first solve the necessary equations without including the flat foldability conditions. Here you can see the solutions obtained in the top row and the contours of the Gaussian curvatures of the target surfaces 
in the bottom row. We have considered three different target surfaces with zero, positive and negative Gaussian curvatures. All the top vertices on the final solution structures which are constrained to lie on the target surfaces are shown. Since the flat foldability constraints are not solved for, these structures are not rigidly foldable. Rigid foldability requires the imposition of flat foldability which increases the indeterminacy of the system significantly. This makes it much harder to find converged solutions. We adopt two strategies to relax the equation system and ensure convergence. One is to reduce the patch size that is desired on the target surface. By choosing a smaller patch, the system relatively comes closer to a flat surface and therefore is easier to solve. The second strategy is to release some of the top vertices that were previously constrained to lie on the target surface in order to reduce the indeterminacy. The yellow vertices shown here are freed. The variability is demonstrated here where the yellow vertex is the released vertex. Here you are looking at solutions obtained using both the relaxation strategies. Unlike the previous solutions, these are flat foldable. In summary, we have presented an inverse origami design procedure for obtaining developable and rigid foldable surfaces. It was found that the design problem is heavily over constrained when hard constraints are imposed. It was possible to obtain converged solutions when flat foldability was ignored. However, when flat foldability was imposed, convergence was not readily obtained and required some relaxation strategies. The rigid foldable paper models made from the obtained solutions are shown here on the right. Overall, our work demonstrates that directly solving the overdetermined inverse origami design problems could give practically useful results. Thank you.